Hi everyone, Letty here. Today I'm going to share with you the hashtag DoodlebugFeb. This is a crafty collab where I am going to be smashing a 6x6 paper pad. It's called Over the Rainbow. So welcome back everyone. This is for hashtag DoodlebugFeb, which is hosted by Helen, Alma, and Cheryl. This is a collab where we use Doodlebug and I'm going to be using the new collection called Over the Rainbow. This is also going to be a 6x6 paper pad smash. That means I'm going to be using all of the paper that came in this little 6x6 paper pad. Part of my hashtag crafty goals are to use up entire pads um, as well as make ATCs. I'm going to be doing both in this video. So again, this is Over the Rainbow by Doodlebug. This is their newest collection that has been released. It's really fun spring and a lot of uh, St. Patty's Day elements on here. It is double sided, 24 total sheets. You've got tons of cut aparts, really, really fun prints, really cute colors and everything. Um, and I did smash the entire pack. I had previously purchased this from Not Too Shabby. You see here, this is all I have left which is just a few cut aparts. So I will link that not too shabby haul video at the end. I'm also bringing in the chit chat. I did use a couple pieces of that. I think I'll just throw the rest of those little pieces in there since I didn't have any paper left over. Gnome Sweet Gnome. This is the stamp set that I picked up at Not Too Shabby for the collection. I did use the little shamrock and then the Hello Sunshine and then the little gir girl gnome and then the little tree bark. Those are the stamps I used today. And then I also brought in the puffy icons. You see here, I used a ton of those. These are little puffy stickers. Again, they're called puffy icons. And then I also used a ton of stickers from the mini icon stickers. So it comes with two sheets. And I think I used about two thirds of them from both of the sheets, so ton of them. Again, I'll link that most recent haul video at the very end. If you just keep watching, you'll check it out. I'll also have a link and a discount code down below for you as well. So the projects I made, I made three different projects. The first one was 35 A2 size cards. I'll do a full flip through of this in just a second. I've got five three by three cards. Those were using scraps. And then I made 10 ATCs or artist trading cards. And I'll talk about that in a second too. So I, the first big project I did was I was working on cards. I made 35 total. I wanted to use this sketch where you basically do the, the four rectangles, then you add something to kind of anchor on top with a sentiment. So I just stamped out the images on a stitched scalloped die cut white circle, added a little distressed inking added some alcohol coloring on the images and added a sentiment and then I had one more layout here like with the same little rectangle grid this is one of my go-to little layouts or sketches I added some pieces of ephemera that came in the chit chat um, and then on this one I had some scrap strips left over and then I went ahead and, and added some doodle lines using my Pigma Micron 5 pen um, this is archival ink and so I added some doodle lines and just added some stickers here you see as well added doodle lines a piece of the ephemera that came from the chit chat more chit chat pieces here and then I did want to make a ton of um, St. Patty's Day cards to send out to my nieces and nephew and little cousins so I went ahead and used some of those little scraps these are two by two scraps and some cut aparts some stickers I stamped the little shamrock and I colored it with a, gr a green alcohol marker just to add a little bit of extra to the background. I think it's super fun. You see here, I changed the layout up of those two by two squares. So I think both versions look cute. Um, it's just depending on how you want to do it. And then on this one, I took a three by three square. So you can get four of those three by three squares from one sheet. And you basically just cut it in half on the diagonal and you can split it onto the corners and then add a three by four card right in the middle with a layer. And then I added one of the tags. So I did bring out some of the 12 by 12 sheets as well. I uh, cut up one sheet of the tags, which you see here. And then I also cut up one sheet of those three by four cards, which is like what you see right here. Um, and then I did have a couple of these little tags left over. These came in the six by six. I was making them, I used them to make the ATCs. You got six per page with two pages. So I had two left over after making 10 ATCs. Added them there, I had some additional cut aparts, some more scraps, some stickers, some sentiments. I did a lot of doodle lines. You see here, I've got just a combination of different sizes, different types of doodle lines. Some are dotted, some are just straight lines. Added some stickers just to kind of finish these out. I think these turned out super fun. This was definitely a super, super fun collection to play with. I think you're gonna see it some more today because it's Doodlebug's newest uh, co uh, collection. So again, I made 35 A2 size cards. Then I also made 10 ATCs. Another one of my crafty goals is to make at least 10 per month. So I went ahead and made my 10 using this collection. These were so super fun to make. I layered up a ton of different items here, cut aparts and some of the puffy 
selfie stickers. I added my information to the back. So I added some doodle line, like dotted line doodles on them as well. These were just so super fun. I literally just layered to my heart's content and I, I like how they turned out. I did not add any twine or anything to the little tags. I wanted to keep them flat so they would be easy to send out, mail out, hand out, whatever I wanted to do with them. These are just great to kind of give to somebody to show what your work is like. So again, 10 ATCs. I made five three by three cards as well. I brought out this little three by three card set from Joann's. I used some scraps that I had left over, layered them, added some doodle lines, and I apologize. My focus kept going in and out. So I tried to just cut out the pieces that were totally, totally unfocused from that part of the video. So five three by three cards. Again, this was the Over the Rainbow collection by Doodlebug. This is their newest collection. This was an entire six by six smash as part of my hashtag crafty goals for the hashtag Doodlebug Feb collab. Thanks for visiting everyone. I'll link that hashtag right down below. Make sure you click on it so you can check out what everybody is making using their doodlebug collections this month.